hello guys welcome back so today's tutorial gonna be on how to machine open pocket using open pocket toolpath in this open pocket toolpath this is created from the chains that do not have the same start and end point so mastercam automatically detect the distance between the start and the end point and then treat the chain as it was closed metric so let's get started First we're gonna draw a simply wireframe. So go to wireframe tab, click on rectangle, and then make our width of rectangle 6 inch and height of rectangle 4 inch. Make sure anchor to center is enabled. So click on this origin and just simply make our width 6 inch and height to 4 inch. So click enter and you're gonna see our rectangle is ready so now we're gonna draw another rectangle so click over here expand the bottom of the rectangle and now click on rectangular shapes select origin here and click on the cursor auto cursor fast point to select the axis so for x axis it gonna be minus one and comma for y axis it gonna be zero hit enter you're gonna see our point is selected now we're gonna make our dimensions of rectangle so for width it's gonna be 5 inch so for height it's gonna be 3 inch and our radius fillet radius gonna be 0.25 click ok and now we're gonna trim some unwanted geometry we're gonna go to divide we simply click over here and delete all unwanted ge geometry click ok so as you can see our 2d geometry is ready so 2d wireframe is ready now we're gonna go to machine tab to select our machine we are doing milling so click on mill go to default and you, you can see over here toolpath icon will appear so now go to expand gallery here go to tool settings make it program number six enable these two options and enable advanced options and then go to stock setup we're gonna use us using setting our stop using bounding box so go to bounding box and then click on any side outside and then simply control a to select all wireframe so end selection click ok and now you can see our xy is set up for a stock we're gonna do z so it's gonna be one inch on z so click ok and now we're gonna go to click over here go to isometric view and you can see over here the stock is set up which is one one inch in height and here is a tip guys if you want to go to like isometric from here you can simply click alt and 7 and you're gonna go to isometric and if you want to go to back to top you can click alt and 1 and then this will take you to the top of the geometry so now moving further we're gonna select our toolpath so we are doing here uh, open pocket machining open pocket so we just simply gonna go to expand gallery here and go to pocket and now we're gonna select uh, this chain for that simply go to partial chain and then click over here and then end point here and you're gonna see this chain is selected and make sure it's counterclockwise and you can if it's not you can reverse it so click ok so now we're gonna go select our tool which gonna be click over here filter click on none and then this is end mill option click over here and then make it equal to 0.5 so we're gonna use half inch end mill so now go to select library tool and over here you can see our half inch flat end mill click ok so you see our tool is selected so now go to comment we can comment rough and fin finish the open pocket so now our tool is selected 
now we're gonna go to cut parameters and then we can simply go to climb make our stock on leaves zero on walls and zero on floors and main thing is over here pocket type we're gonna change our pocket to open as we're doing learning in this lesson about how to machine open pocket so now we're gonna see over here overlap amount which we're gonna set to 125 it means 125 percent of our tool actually you can see our tool is 100 percent so it's gonna show 0.5 as we selected in tool here 0.5 so over here we're gonna make it a further than 100 percent so 125 percent gonna be 0.625 and this distance is the distance i will show you you can go get more clear over here and you see over here this distance is the overlap the pocket enter entire or absolute distance or a percentage of a tool diameter to set the distance by which the tool will overlap an imaginary line drawn across the open edge of the pocket open chain the dotted line is the following picture outline the applied overlap distance so i'm gonna explain it more better when our model is machined so go so now just simply you can see over here it shows the distance for far from which the toolpath gonna be start so if it's gonna be 100 the outer diameter of the tool may touch the stock boundary directly downward which is which gonna break down the tool so we need to go further away from that when tool comes down so we go 125 percent which is a good amount so now click over here use open pocket cutting method as we are using open pocket so you can disable this icon as we don't have any closed chain over here and now we're gonna go back to roughing enable make sure it's and roughing is enabled and now go to step over percentage keep it default 50 percent and then go to entry motion turn it off we don't need any entry motion because our tool gonna be start from outside of the chain so go to finishing enable finishing keep it default and enable this option mini machine finish passes only at final depth and now we're gonna go to lead in and out and over here just simply make it perpendicular and then we don't need arc radius so keep it zero hit enter and then copy with exit so click over here and you're gonna see it copied so now we're gonna go to depth cuts enable depth cuts and set our max depth cut to 0.25 and then we create one finish cut and make it to 20,000 and click here we don't need to enable this so disable this breakthrough and go to linking parameters enable clear clearance make sure it's absolute retract absolute feed print absolute top of stock zero absolute and depth gonna be absolute in negative 0.5 as a depth of the pocket is negative 0.5 so click ok and now you can see our tool path is generated which is kind of open pocket tool path so to more clarify it we're gonna go to verify tab to verify it and then later on i'm gonna explain more about this pocket so almost our tool path is generated as you can see blue line shows the tool path and the yellow line shows entry and exit of tool so now select all over here select all operations and now go to verify to verify it select this tab verify and now simply verify it you see tool comes and it's started machining and it's gonna make two passes downward and then one finish pass and that's the last finish pass i'm gonna repeat it again to more clarification so the tool comes down it started doing first pass of 0.25 as we set up in our depth cuts so it's gonna go as a pocket and now it's gonna go 
for a second pass which is of 0.25 same and now it's gonna do finish pass so let's get back over here as I told you you can press alt 1 to make it on top view and another tip if you want to remove the toolpath you can just simply like you want to hide the toolpath click on alt T and it gonna hide the toolpath so we're gonna get back with the same way alt T and toolpath will be back and now you can see over here more clarification we're gonna go to back plotting so click on here and now simply we're gonna start doing back plotting so you can see over here tool comes down and you can see over here the we left the 125 percent tool hit here it's explained properly you can see over here our tool diameter is you can see 0.5 and then this distance is almost one one fourth of our diameter so that's why we added 125 percent you can see it started 125 percent off from our original original cut so now go so now go further you can see over here first pass is on the depth of 0.25 and then it gonna and you can see over here the tool goes up and then again goes down and for the second rough cut okay and then it goes for finish pass goes up and then this is the last finish pass and click ok and now we're gonna change some parameters as you can see the tool is going up and then again going down which is like we actually don't need it's moving in air so we're gonna change it so click ok for now and then to change the parameters just simply double click on parameters and you will open up where we left before so now we're gonna go to depth cuts and we're gonna enable keep tool down so now you can see the change so click ok and now you can see over here it says cross which means we did need to regenerate the toolpath so now simply click over here regenerate all dirty operations so click over here and it's gonna regenerate all the toolpaths so now again select all go to back plot click over here and then then simply now you can see over here first pass come so it's doing on a first rough cut and then and you see over here after performing the first rough cut for the second rough this time it doesn't go up just simply go down and similarly you can see over here there in the finish after performing sec second rough pass it just simply go for the finish pass you see so click ok so that's you see the tool paths and now we are gonna see more about parameters you can learn we're gonna clarify on these values absolute increment values in linking parameters so first we click alt t to hide the tool paths as we said and then alt 1 to make it on top view and now we just simply gonna draw another wireframe for that transform go to translate and now select the open chain pocket so click over here and selection and now go to join and make it to negative 0.5 and you can see the negative 0.5 this chain is got in the bottom so click ok so control a select all wireframe hit right of mouse and just simply go over here clear colors now you can see its colors are clear it's all in blue so now we're gonna go to linking parameters and you can see over here right now we selected the top chain that's why we do absolute top of stock is 0 and depth is 0.5 from 
top of the chain so now we're gonna select the chain bottom chain for that if we can go to geometry and then you can see it shows which chain we selected earlier so now simply to select the to change the selected chain simply click right click of mouse and click over here G chain on and now similarly we can select the chain so click over here select this chain and then this chain and you can see our chain is selected and which is in counterclockwise direction click ok so over here and now you can see it says cross as we change the two parameters so now we're gonna go to parameters again at this time we selected the bottom chain so our top of stock gonna be incremental 0.5 so it means our top of stock is 0.5 above from this chain and now our depth gonna be zero which is incremental as we selected the bottom chain so click ok and then regenerate all dirty operations and then you can see over here it the results gonna be same so it just depends upon which chain we selected while starting the operation so now we're gonna select all and then go to verify it and now you can see over here it's gonna be same unless we even we change the linking parameters depth so that's it guys if you found this video helpful please make sure to comment like and please do consider subscribing if you are new here as we have lots of more beginner level videos coming so thanks for watching see you in next video